Little people, big dreams. Muhammad Ali. Once there was a little boy from Kentucky who knew he would go far in life. His name was Cassius, and he lived in a little house with his parents and younger brother. One day, someone stole his brand new bicycle. He told the police officer that he wanted to face the thief. The officer said, Cassius, you better learn how to fight first. Soon, Cassius was learning how to box. He was not the strongest fighter, but he had a secret weapon. He was faster than anyone else. Fight after fight, Cassius proved himself as a junior boxer. His talents took him to the Olympics in Rome, where he won a gold medal. But it was not enough. He dreamed of going professional. He trained harder than ever, and not just in the ring. Cassius set his sights on the World Heavyweight Championship. To tease his opponents, Cassius often used rhymes describing how he was going to win. I'll float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Some thought it was trash talk, but it sounded like poetry, and it worked. He got his chance to fight for the title against Sonny Liston, one of the world's toughest fighters. Everyone thought Cassius was scared to death, but he proved the championship belt belonged to him. Cassius was not just a famous boxer, but a courageous defender of African-American rights in a time when it was dangerous to speak up. He also became inspired by the teachings of Islam and changed his name to Muhammad Ali, a beautiful Arabic name that made him feel strong and proud to be himself. Then a war started on the other side of the world. Ali thought it was wrong and refused to fight in it. He was stripped of his title and banned from boxing for three years. But for him, beliefs were more important. When Ali came back, he did it as only the greatest would do. The Ali shuffle, the rope dope He won some of his most famous fights becoming the only boxer to win the heavyweight belt three times. It's the thriller in Manila, the rumble in the jungle. Ali was admired and loved by people from all around the world. When he retired, he gave all that love back by working for charities and helping others. Since then, many young boxers have followed in the steps of Muhammad Ali, the little boy who used to say, One day I'm going to be the greatest. I am the greatest. And that, my friends, is Little People, Big Dreams, Muhammad Ali.